Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm really happy. I'm going to be doing a chunky cardigan. I call it my big black cardigan, but really that's probably not a good name for a pattern because lots of people won't be making it in black. I just happened to think it would be a real change for me to make something in black. And of course, black is the worst color to use for video tutorials. So I'm hoping this is all going to work out. I have a massive Q hook here. It's a size 16 millimeter. So you need a Q hook and you need some super bulky yarn. I have Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. It is just gorgeous. It's 20% wool, 80% acrylic, and it just is the softest, most beautiful yarn. I use it for my hats and uh, a lot of cowls and my short and chunky fingerless gloves. So yes, it's one of my go-to yarns. So I also you'll also need a yarn needle and some scissors. So I'm going to go and get organized and we'll get started. So I'm going to be creating a large extra large and I'm going to start out by making a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 36 okay 36 stitches one two three Four. So I'll meet you when I've got 36. So now I've got my 36 in a chain. I am going to double crochet into the third stitch from the hook, okay? And we'll then double crochet across. So I'm going to count the third chain. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So I'm going to double crochet into the third chain. some yarn here. So I'll explain the double crochet just as a reminder to people. Yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, and pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. Okay, and we're going to double crochet into each of the stitches going across. This is very loose, but it's very cool. All right, so once you've finished that, you will end up with 34 stitches because we worked into the, the third chain from the hook, right? So we've now got this chunky, lovely, loose um, row of double crochet stitches. And so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to make the, the cuff of the of the of the bottom the whatever the ribbed section whatever you like to call it a cuff is usually on a sleeve so it's the ribbed base of the cardigan okay i'm just getting my yarn sorted out so we are going to chain up to oh and a tip if you're working on black yarn lots of people say they can never see the stitches if you put a piece of white paper or white fabric underneath the work as you're working with it on your knee or wherever you're working it helps you to see the stitches more clearly and that way it's not so hard if, if you're doing it on top of a pair of jeans or some dark pants or something it's really hard to see where the gaps are so we're going to chain two two chain two and then we are going to do something called the front post double crochet. So you yarn over and you put your hook under the next double crochet. It's, it's called the post, right? You wrap your yarn around, you pull it through, wrap your yarn around and do finish the double crochet. So that's the front post double crochet. Now the next one is going to be the back post. So here we have this, the next double crochet in our row and we are going to wrap the yarn over our hook and then we're going to take our hook in behind and go over top of that post, wrap the yarn around and pull it through and then finish your double crochet. So that's a front post and a back post. So for the next one, we are going to alternate all the way across this row. So for this next post, we yarn over and go in front of it. The post is going to be in the front. And then yarn over 
And now the next one, we are going to actually poke it in from behind so that the post goes at the back of the hook. That's the back post. Wrap the yarn over, pull it through on the front post. Next one is the front post. Yarn over and we are working in the front part. Front post double crochet. And the next one, this one, we're going to wrap it and take it in from the back and wrap it over pull it through and just finish off your double crochet. So this is how it's starting to look. This is the front, this is the back, this is the front, this is the back, this is the front, and the backs all sit back like that. So I'm going to go across and finish this row and I'll turn around and bring you back. So when you get to the end you will have an equal number. You'll finish on a back post double crochet and then at the very end you're going to do a double crochet into the turning chain there. So that's how we're going to finish that and then we're going to chain two. And you're going to turn your work and you will see that it starts with a back post double crochet because you see it's sitting back there. So we're going to start with a back post double crochet in the second row. And then a front post double crochet. Sorry about going off camera there. And then We're going into the next one and it's going to be a back post double crochet. Sometimes it's a bit tricky. And then into the one that's raised up there we are going to go in there and we're going to do a front post double crochet. And then you'll see that the next one is sitting back and we're going to do back post. We're going to put it in from the back and that's that. Okay, so we're going to work all the way across. So we're going to do the same technique and then the next row is go, um, row four is going to be as the second row. We'll start with the front post double crochet. Okay, so I'll see you back at the end of this row ready to start the next one. When you get to the end of the row, you double crochet into the last Okay, chain two, turn your work, and this row we are going to be doing like row two and we are going to do a front post double crochet into the first stitch, then a back post double crochet and alternate all the way along and this is our last row of the cuff. Okay, so after you double crochet in the last stitch there, we are going to chain one. We are going to turn our work and we're going to start working up the body of this cardigan now. So this is the back. So we are going to be doing a half double crochet into each stitch across. Wrap the yarn over and pull through the three. Wrap the yarn over into the next stitch and pull through the three. That's a half double crochet. Wrap the yarn over into the next stitch. Wrap the yarn over, pull it through. Three loops on the hook. Wrap it over and pull it through. This is half double crochet US terms. So we're going to work all the way along doing the half double crochet. Chain one, turn, half double crochet and we're going to go all the way up doing rows of half double crochet and for the extra large I did it 27 rows or until it's 28 inches long that's what I did for the extra large okay so I'll see you when you're 
you're finished the back. So this is what the back looks like with all of the half double crochet rows. It's quite long, quite big. And there's your nice cuff at the bottom. Okay, so you've got a big, big rectangular kind of square shape for your back. Now we're going to start the sides, okay? And for the sides, you're going to do a chain of 18 to start with. As you heard, I just dropped my hook. So you're going to chain 18. So once again, we make a slip knot. and chain 18. And as before, we are going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. So we're going to double crochet into this. And we're going to double crochet into the rest of the chains, each chain going across, and we are going to end up with 16 stitches. We're double crocheting in here. I hope that's what I said. Sometimes when you're working and talking at the same time, you're thinking you're saying the right words, but you're not. So we're actually double crocheting into each of these stitches across the chain. Okay. So we've got the 16, we're going to chain two, and we're going to start working our ribbed section like we did before. Okay. So we're going to turn our work we're going to do the front post up crochet into the chain. It's always in the row below. Sorry, I keep getting lost off the camera. And now we're going to do a back post double crochet. And that's what works where you have to put your hook right in from behind and push it in front and then back again and carry on with your double crochet. So we're going to do front post double crochet, back post double crochet all the way across to the end and a double crochet in the end there. Then we're going to chain two, turn the work and row three will be the back post double crochet first and then the front and then row four will be the front post double crochet first. Okay, so row, you're, I'm going to leave you to do this front post row, this front post, back post row, and do two more on top of that. So that's rows two, three, and four. And then you do the half double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet back. So it's going to be just like the back. Once you've finished your cuff, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet, no, half double crochet rather, sorry, into the neck, into the first stitch, and half double crochet into each stitch across your 16 stitches, turn the work, and go all the way up till it's 28 inches long or 27 rows, whichever works out for you, 28 inches. You can hold it up against yourself, see how you like it lengthwise, okay? And then you need to do a second side, just the same as this, by chaining 18 to start and double crocheting into the third chain from the hook, okay? I'll meet you back when your sides are done. So here's the side. It's got the, the, chain, the, the nice ribbed bottom really hard to see black. I now realize why people don't use black. And then it's got your nice long half double crochet rows for each side. Okay? We'll move on to the sleeves. So to make the sleeves we are going to be using a 10 millimeter hook for the cuff. Just for the cuff and then we're going to swap back to our Q hook 
for when we move up the sleeve, okay? So we're going to make our slip knot and we're going to chain 20. I'll join you back when I've got 20. Then when we've got 20, we are going to join into the first chain and we're going to put a slip stitch in so we can keep them together. This is going to be our, where our, our hand goes through. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to double crochet into every chain around so that's first row and then we're going to be doing just like we did on the other cuff at the bottom of the back and of the front we are going to do the front post double crochet back post double crochet but we're doing it in the round okay so I'm going to double crochet around here okay so what I've done is I've done my 20 double crochets around and then we are going to go into the, the we chain two so we're going to go into the top of the chain two there and we're going to slip stitch it and that's joining our row so we have our cuff here okay so now we're going to chain up two and we're going to do not into the one right below but the one beside it we're going to do front post double crochet okay through through and then the next one is going to be a back post double crochet so we yarn over find the next post and we put our hook in behind then down and we do the double crochet okay so we're going to go we're going to do I think I'm just going to try and remember how, how many rows we're doing but anyway we'll get this one done and I'll meet you back when it's done beginning chain up two and you're ready for your next row of front post double crochets and back post double crochets remember whenever you see one sticking up like this it's a front post and whenever it's dipping down into the back it's a back post and you put it in from the back okay so do another one of those and we do three in total okay so that was the first now we do a second and a third so after we've done our three rows of ribbing it looks like this and then we're going to chain over to the sorry <laughs> over to the big hook the Q hook and we're going to start to do our um, half double crochets okay because we're going to start working up the sleeve so how we're going to do this we're going to start with an increase so I've done one into here into the first stitch and I'm going to we chained up one and now I'm going to do two into the first one and then this is an increased row so I'm going to do one half double crochet into the next stitch oops sorry yarn over and put it in <laughs> all right so that's that's one and now in the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets okay one and two into the same stitch and then we're going to do one into the next stitch and two into the next stitch one two and we're going to do this all the way around okay when you get to the end you'll find you just have this one stitch here that you can do one into and then we can join it to the top of the chain one that we did at the beginning. Okay, and now we have more stitches, okay? So let's count how many we've got. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 okay so unless you count that one so 
so that's it okay and what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to half double crochet into the, this this will make it up to 30 I think so we'll go one two into each stitch now one into each stitch okay two all the way around okay so I finished making my sleeves and I ended up doing 18 rows which took me up to where I needed to be um, for my length if you want to make yours shorter um, you can do less rows so what I've done is I've laid down my sweater the back piece is the right side up and then I've put the side pieces the right side down so the right sides are meeting the bottom is up and the sides are down and then I've come with my sleeve and I'm just laying it down I've actually tied the shoulders together the armhole and I'm laying down my sleeve like this and I'm at the bottom of the sleeve I've put a tie and that's going to tell me where my bottom seam has to go from that tie all the way down and through the the bottom there. So that can be either slip stitch together or whip stitch together with a yarn needle. Okay, then I've gone across to where the neck is and I've tied the front and the, the front pieces to the back. And then the same on the other side. Here you can see I've got my ties in for where my sleeves come to the bottom on this side and I've got a tie in at the top where the shoulder corner is where the armhole the arm is going to go in that space there and then I've tied it here and we have actually two stitches in between that um, don't have anything being attached to them okay so I'm going to go away and I'm going to slow, sew up my shoulders and I'm going to sew up from the armhole all the way down to the side bottoms okay and then I will come back and we'll talk about the sleeves now I've just sewn up one side whip stitching and I just wanted to mention that when you're whip stitching up you're just going in from one side over in from one side and you're able to as you go up the rows you'll see corresponding stitches that you can go through so you can make sure that you're keeping your rows side by side now I've got up to here which is the bottom of the arm and I'm just I've just done a couple of stitches through there just to anchor it and make it really super tight and then I'm actually going to leave that thread there for sewing the sleeve in and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the shoulder and I'm going to stitch from the outside of the shoulder to inside by the neck I'm just coming up to the inner side of the neck and I'm really sorry that the black is so hard to see but I just want to explain that what I'm doing as I go along the the front and the back together is I'm putting my needle th through the, the two legs of the stitch on one side and then through the two legs of the stitch on the other and pulling them together that way so that we're going stitch to stitch to stitch to stitch as we go along. So now we've got the front and sewn to the back and we've left the armhole open. I've got my sleeve here and I'm going to make sure that the right side is out and this little tail where we do our rounds from is at the bottom because that's going to go into under the underarm seam, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that arm hole and we are going to place it, open up the front and slide it in to the inside and we're going to poke it out of the armhole see that and we're going to take that string that we have at the bottom and that's going to go here at the bottom of the armhole it keeps wanting to slide off the table here so I'm just going to tie that to the thread that I left so that's fastened that there and then this top part of the armhole is going to be where your shoulder is okay so we could actually tie that on there if we wanted 
I don't know how you're fastening yours. I always use these bits of thread. Okay. Just to fasten it up. And so then what we're take, going to do is we're just going to sew the arm, matching our stitches as well as we can, across, up, and back down and fasten off. Now, where we fastened off at all of these places, I want to make sure that you're doing lots of strong stitches and weaving your threads back and forth so it doesn't come unraveled on you while you're done. So this is going to be put in, sewn, and then when you open it up, you've got the right sides of your garment with the right side of the sleeve, so it's perfect. So make sure when you're putting your sleeve in that you've got the right sides are out, okay? Thank you very much. And you haven't turned this main body around. You've still got your wrong side out, your wrong side out, and the right side is in, so it matches up with the right side of the sleeve. Okay, so good luck sewing in your sleeves, and I'll see you at the end. So this is the first um, chunky, super bulky uh, cardigan I've ever made, and it's so heavy, it's like a coat. Um, but it's really warm to wear, even though it's got the great big um, hook and lots of space in the stitches, as you can see. So I've had it on, but I need to do this edging for you. So we're going to start with the edging, and I've joined in the chunky yarn, and I'm using my big Q hook, and I'm going to single crochet up the front of the cardigan, all around the neck and all down the other side. So the rule is when you're single crocheting that you usually put two where there's a double crochet and one when there's a single crochet. These are, however, half double crochets, so I think you can do um, three stitches every two rows or something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna just space it out when you're going up. I think I'll be going in each of those those spaces as I go up. Okay, so I'm going to start and you can just watch for a little while and then I'll stop my camera. It's big heavy cardigan. Okay, I'm going to rejoin it so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just pulling it through. You can put a slip knot on. We could do that. We could try doing that. Put a slip knot on the end and pull it through and then you can slip stitch onto itself there and then I'm going to crochet the tail in as I go up so I'm going to go into this this one and do a single crochet and all the way up there's two, there's this is a double crochet here so I'm going to do two in there one It's okay, Peaches. My little doggie's just come upstairs. She wants to know what I'm up to. Okay, there's two. And then we're going to go into the next one. And keep this tail in so I won't have to sew it in later. And I'm going to go single crochet all the way up the side, over the neck. There's only a few stitches at the back there. And then all the way down to the other side. Okay, so let's see you later. Don't forget that while you're doing this, the right side is up towards you. You're working that way. And that when you, if you are doing yours in black, it's always a good idea to put something light behind it so you can see the stitches as you're working into them, okay? Because otherwise it's really hard to see. I constantly see people posting on Facebook. How do you crochet and see the stitches with black? Well, what I do is I always do it with a white piece of paper on my lap. And here I have this nice light back, oops, nice light background here. So as you can see, I'm just going up each, into each space here as I go up the side. And I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to chain one and come back up again and see how that looks. I think that'll be pretty special, okay? And so here I am at back at the, uh, the, the ribbed bottom of my cardigan so I'm just going to I'm actually going to go into those rather than 
into those chains and there I think it's better just to do it here I'll go two into this one so you just kind of space it out so it doesn't look like it's getting stretched okay or puckered as you're going around you want to make sure you've got enough stitches that everything is going to hang properly when you're wearing your cardigan okay and then two into this last double crochet the very bottom row here okay and now I'm going to chain up one and we've got this single crochet row going all along here and I think I'm going to do a back loop only all the way up just to kind of give it some uh, edging to it okay so we turn it over turn the work it's this big heavy old cardigan here um, and if you've not done the back loop only it's where you turn your work and you kind of put your hook not through both of the of the stitches here but you're going into the back of the two stitches and just completing your single crochet so here you've got two and we're going to go into the back we're going to do all the way up and around doing that okay I'll see you back and so this is what the edging looks like that's what we're left with and if you want to go and do another row of single crochet around there that's totally up to you but I like it the way it is right now and I'm going to go and sew in all, weave in all my ends and I'll be back to let you know how it looks okay